I grew up redneck. But before that, I grew up on food stamps and potato soup. The only son of a single mom who was divorced when I was about four and widowed before my 10th birthday. I'm Jay Laura Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast. Uh, recently, it's making another round of circulation on Facebook, this video where a bunch of people line up on the starting line and, and they say, this video is all about privilege. And then they ask questions like, uh, do your parents have a college degree? Did you grow up in a home with both parents? Did you have the opportunity to go to college? Did you have meals every day? And they, just, they go through a list and some of the things are legitimately uh, societal or cultural impact where there's nothing you could do to change those circumstances. I get it. I grew up in most of those circumstances. The only son of a single mom. We lived on food stamps and potato soup for a few years. My mom grew up in a day when, as a high school dropout, the best she could ever hope for was to be a domesticated woman, to be either the wife of someone who supported her or to work as a domestic, meaning taking care of someone else's house. And she did for years. She moved from there onto the janitor of the middle school. And it wasn't until her 50th birthday that she graduated from college. She was 50 when she graduated from college. She went on to spend the next 12 years educating kids who the school system had given up on. So yeah, I get it. I didn't grow up in an educated home of, of two parents with great jobs and great careers. I didn't grow up with that white privilege that a lot of people think about. But I did grow up with something else. I grew up with the ability to make decisions. Now, I didn't always make good ones. Trust me. I had my own keys to the house, my own keys to the car at 13. I had my first job bagging groceries at 13. And I went to that because prior to that, the only work I could get was bailing hay. And I wasn't any good at it because I was too small. So I ended up driving the tractor like eight miles an hour down the side of the highway for miles, hours at a time from one hay field to the next. That's how I grew up. But I learned early on that your decisions will shape your future a whole lot better than your past. I can't determine or dictate what circumstances you grew up in, but I can tell you this for a fact. The decisions you make today are your decisions. The choices you make today are your choices. And leaders should be about the business of exposing opportunities for people to make good choices around not blaming the past. Yes, the past has had some good and some bad for everybody. Some great opportunities and some horrible circumstances. I get that. I had some myself. But I can also tell you that you can't live in the past and you can't expect anybody to make up your past for you. And by that I mean to actually give you something in reward for a bad past. What I can tell you is today you can start with a new set of decisions. Today you can choose persistence and patience and perseverance. You can choose to be proud of yourself. You can choose to pick the future that's ahead of you. You can choose the opportunities that are coming at you and whether or not you'll be prepared for them or you'll make excuses for them. As has been said by myself and many others, many times you can make excuses or you can make money, but you can't make both. You can choose success or you can choose pity, but you can't choose both. And if you want to live the rest of your life waiting for someone else to feel pitiful for you and take care of the circumstances for you, then that's what you're going to spend the rest of your life doing, feeling pitiful and waiting for circumstances to become successful. And it ain't going to happen. On the other hand, if you'll make choices today, choices about your own education, choices about the people you hang out with, choices about the way you spend your day, choices about the things you do with the money that comes into your hands, whether it's a great amount or a small amount. See, there are plenty of people who grew up in rough circumstances, on the wrong side of the tracks, per se, uh, maybe even with <clears throat> the disadvantage of a particular race in a particular ge ge geographic area. Or maybe they grew up in a culture where everything around them was drugs and violence, or they grew up in a culture of domestic violence. 
But every day there are people like that who make a new set of choices and they decide, I'm not living like this, I'm going to get out. I'm not going to be a gangbanger. I'm not going to deal in drugs. I'm not going to deal in gambling or stolen cars. I, I have ways of making money other than that. I'm going to use my talent and my skill, my athletic ability or my mental capacity to do something different with my life. I am going to make different choices. As leaders, we need to stop accepting and expecting excuses. We need to set some hopeful expectations in front of the generation that's following us. As leaders, we have the opportunity to expose new opportunities. We also have the opportunity to influence those choices, those decisions, that determination, and show them the rewards for that hard work. If you've got determination and a good work ethic, your persistence will pay off. It may not be today. It may not be in the next five years, but it will pay off. And in case you're curious, if you weren't born into that perfect environment, if the circumstances around your life were a divorce or a widow, you have a chance to change that. I grew up in a broken home. All the ways you want to define broken, it was there. But I'm now a father of four and a grandfather of eight. And I have young people today who will tell others that I was the father figure in their life because I didn't have one in mind, but I made a determination that I will be the kind of father that I didn't have growing up. You have the same opportunity to make the same choices and the same decision because it's not your circumstances that determine your future. It's your choices. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast for Tell It Like It Is TV. Have a blessed day. Leadership team. If attitude is going to have a deep impact on your business and bottom line, make it a positive attitude with a positive impact. Visit jlaurenorris.com slash attitude hack 